Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're checking out Evergreen. From Horror Guild. Yes. This game plays one to four players and has a box play time of 45 to 60 minutes. That's right. And uh, if you're interested in this game at all, I know you can play it on BGA. Um, so that's where I first learned it. So Yeah. And I first learned it on the normal right. cardboard today. version right now today. <laughs> so thanks to Danny from at Flat River Group for sending us this copy of Evergreen, but she didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. She gave it to us because she knows we like to play all, all the, the games. games. So right. let's get right into all the rules. All right, let's check it out. So um, I'll, I'll start off by saying I looked at this and said, oh, Another plant game where you've got light coming in from different sides, like ever, like uh, photosynthesis. And I was not a big fan of photosynthesis. Spoiler alert, I am a fan of Evergreen. Well, it is the same designer. Yeah, but I what like it saying? much, much, much yes, better. There are changes for sure. So if you did not care for, for photosynthesis, you might actually enjoy Evergreen. So, um... Every turn, you are going to choose one of these biome cards, and then you are going to place plants in this biome and then possibly do an extra action on the bottom of the card. So um, everyone is going to take a planet board. They are all identical to my knowledge. Um, each of these has uh, spots with... Uh, six biomes on them, and there are uh, these cracks on which there there is no spot for a tree tile, um, but they do take up space on the board. You're going to place one cylinder marker on every one of these little light green dots, which uh, will be zero on all of these tracks at the top of your board, zero on your 50 score tracker, normally zero on your, your zero to 50 score tracker, uh, and then on the five for your seasons tracker down below. Your sun marker is going to go at the very top, or everyone can choose, uh, they can agree to start off on any of the four points. So that way it might vary up the games a little bit. So, um, Choose the first player, and then the uh, second player gets a point. The third player gets two points. The fourth player gets three points. Whoa. Exactly. So you're going to shuffle up all of the biome cards, and then you are going to reveal cards one at a time until you have at least five fertility icons. The fertility icons are the little flower marks at the top of the card. You'll notice this has two fertility marker, uh, fertility points. So um, anytime you have anything that is other than a fertility marker, like this symbol here, that's a little uh, skull in a triangle, or one of these wild cards, you are just going to set it aside and shuffle it back into the deck. So once you've gotten uh, gotten at least five fertility points up there, Stop drawing cards, shuffle up everything else, and uh, then you are ready to play. A game of Evergreen is played over four seasons. Uh, you're going to have five rounds in spring, as indicated on the bottom of your player board. Um, actually, I do have a player board available. You'll have five rounds in spring, four rounds in summer, three rounds in fall, uh, and two rounds in winter. Uh, so you'll have fewer and fewer uh, actions, fewer and fewer things that you can do um, before the season changes. Uh, each round is going to be composed of three phases. There's the draft phase where we're going to draft cards. Uh, then uh, you'll do the actions and powers phase where you're going to perform your action for the round. Um, and additionally, you can activate the power determined by your biome card. And then you're going to do end of round cleanup stuff. And then if you have done, uh, if you've performed uh, the required number of rounds, you'll have end of season stuff where you're going to score points based on the light that is hitting your plants. 
Um, and you're going to score points for your biggest forest. That is your largest group of orthogonally connected trees and bushes. Then, after we've done four seasons, we're going to not only do end of season stuff, we're going to do end of game stuff, where you're going to calculate uh, your end game score, which is based on the fertility level of your uh, of the biomes, and your large trees are going to score based on these cards up here. So uh, currently, you want large trees placed in the snow zone, in the snow biome, because each of the large trees are going to be worth three points at the end of the game. Uh, in the wheat biome, or as the food would say, wheat, uh, it'll, the large trees are worth one, and in the swamp biome, they will be worth two. All of the others will not be worth anything extra at the end of the game, uh, but that could change. So um, we are going to, uh, on the draft phase, we're going to create the drafting pool. We're going to deal out a number of cards equal to the number of players plus one. So we're going to draw those cards like so. And then Steph is first. She will get to choose one of these cards. Uh, let's say that she chooses uh, this card from the flowers zone. Um, so she's going to pick this, and then she's going to place this leaf on the leftmost card that it, that is remaining. That's immediately after the first player chooses the card. Now, you'll notice if I were to choose this card, I will get first player next turn. If nobody chooses the card on which the first player token is. For example, if I choose um, the, uh, I believe that is the rock biome. If I choose this rock biome card, then Steph will get to be the first player next round. She will get to retain this. So what you are going to do with the card that you select, um, there is, uh, you're going to, get to do the actions uh, on this card. Uh, first, I should mention though, let's say I've chosen uh, this card, Steph chooses this card, the remaining card is gonna go over here into the fertility area. And you're gonna have just basically have one, uh, everything with the same fertility icon is going to be in the same zone. For example, uh, if for some reason another turn went by and this rock biome got put up here, we're just going to add it right to uh, what is already there. Um, but notice that some of these cards have what is called aridity. A-R-I-D-I-T-Y. It means that it is not fertile. It is arid. And what it's going to do is it's going to turn the most recently played fertility card in that area face down. So... Let's say that this were already up there in the fertility area, and then this came along later on, this card would get turned over and this card played on top of it. That means there are no points that are gonna be, uh, there are no uh, points for large trees in the grassland area, uh, the grassland biome. Um, if there were no cards in the grassland biome, you're just going to put this arid card right here. It's not going to count against you. If another card comes along later, uh, it's not going to retroactively turn this card over. If there's no icon, like on these wild cards, you're just going to discard it because there are no fertility icons to place uh, into the fertility zone. So let's assume that. Uh, Steph chose this flowers card. I choose uh, this rock card, uh, rock biome. Now we're going to do actions and powers. Um, you simultaneously perform this action and the bonus power. You can perform the action of your biome and the power in either order. Um, you can do the power before the action. You can do the action before the power, but you must uh, complete everything all together. You cannot separate. Uh, you cannot do half of your power, then your action, and then the rest of your power. So keep that in mind. So for your action, 
uh, your action must be applied to the biome where your card, uh, the for the card that you drafted. Your four actions are, if I can get this over here, the four actions that are available to you are plant three sprouts. The sprouts are these really cute little sprout meeples. And so uh, considering that I had the rock biome, I will go over here to my rock area and I will place three sprouts. I can place them anywhere in this rock biome. So I could go, I want to place a sprout right here. And this, these are double layer boards, so you can just place them right into the little spots, like so. Another action that you could perform is the generic growth action. Uh, you can replace either a sprout with a small tree or a small tree with a big tree. So in, uh, you can never take a sprout and immediately turn it into a big tree. So I could take both of these sprouts and turn them both into small trees. Hopefully they'll show up on the green screen. Yeah, they show up as gray, as sort of grayish trees. These are super, super green, as you can see right here. So they're not gonna show up well on the green screen, but I can place, I can replace those sprouts with small trees. Or I could replace, like let's say I was at this situation, I could replace this with a small tree and this with a large tree. Or I could replace both my small trees with big trees. These are darker green, they might show up just like so. The third action you could take is to apply a, uh, to do a plant sprout and one generic growth. Now you could, uh, both action B and action C have to be performed with different plants. You cannot, as I mentioned before, you can't plant a sprout and immediately turn it into a small tree. You could have, you could plant a sprout and then turn another tree, uh, like a small tree into a large tree or a different sprout into a small tree. And the final action you could take is to either do a sprout or a generic growth anywhere on the board. So you can do that to any one space on your planet board, but it's one action or the other. All of the other ones have three action, there are three uh, parts to the action, two parts, two parts, only one part, but you can place it anywhere in the world. So I, I could ignore my rock biome and then place it here into the wheat. Uh, wheat biome. Thank you, Steph. I was wondering, I was trying to remember what the wheat biome was. So um, that is your normal action, and it is restricted by biome. The bonus action in the bottom corner is not restricted to biome, as you can see from the little world in the corner. Um, as you might guess, this has to do with sprouts. So what you're gonna do is, you've got six tracks up here at the top of your board. Uh, if you'll notice up here, I've got my track for uh, my sprouts. It's a little hot up there, but yeah. you should be able to see. There's, uh, Normally, you're going to start here at the zero. Because I'm doing this bonus action, I get to move this one space to the right. Notice I can do two sprout actions now. So I can put two sprouts anywhere on the board. They don't even have to be in the same biome. They can be anywhere on your planet. Um, the next time I do this as a bonus action, I will move this up. Boom, I'm going to have three sprouts in that bonus action. And if I do it again, four sprouts in that bonus action. So uh, that is uh, one of the six icons that you'll see on the bottom. Uh, another one is 
the small plant, uh, the small tree icon. And as you might guess, you can turn a sprout into a small tree. And that is uh, this track below sprout. You can do one, two, or three small trees anywhere in the world. Uh, there is also the big tree icon. If I can find that here. The big tree icon, you'll turn small trees into big trees. Uh, either one, one, or two are the different um, levels here. Um, we've also got the bush icon. Now you might wonder, well, what are bushes? Uh, bushes will extend the size of your forest. Uh, they do count as part of your forest. And you've got these little yellowish green bush pieces. The bushes will not collect light. The bushes will not cast a shadow and the bushes will not score any points for any of that. However, they are considered as part of your forest. So they do count as part of largest forest. So for bushes, you're either gonna plant one bush, one bush or two bushes, depending on what level uh, you are on the bush track and you'll just place them wherever you want in the world. The uh, fifth action is pretty simple. It is the pod action, and it is just basically going to give you victory points. You'll either get one, two, or four victory points based on how far up you are on the track. If for some reason you, are, you get this action a fourth time, yes, you can perform the action again, even though you can't shift on the track, you can still do that action again. So you could get four points and four points and four points if you wanted to. Yep. The final action is the, I believe it is called the lake action, lake or water Trying to see what it is called. Uh, yes, it is the place lake action. You've got these cool little lake tokens, and you're going to place that anywhere you want on the board. And then you get to do two growth actions, generic growth actions on orthogonally adjacent spaces next to that lake. For example, if I had if I had sprout here and small tree here, and I and uh, let's go ahead and have a big tree here. Whoops! And I place a lake right here. Then I am going to get to do two generic growth actions. Well, obviously I can't do my big tree, but I can do these two here. So I don't really have to choose in that case. This becomes a small tree. This becomes a large tree. Now, careful of placing something right here because these areas are not connected forests, and I'll never be able to connect them because of these crevices. You go around. That I would have to go around one way or the other to connect up anything I put over here. So I just say that to, uh, to mention, be careful of where you place your lakes. You don't want to close yourself off. <laughs> um, After you uh, have activated your power and uh, finished up uh, the action from your biome, then you're going to go to end of round cleanup. I should mention really quickly, if you get the wild card, this, is, this means that your action can be applied to any biome. You can just do your action anywhere on the planet, in fact. Um, like if I were to plant three sprouts, they can go anywhere on the board. They, they're not restricted. I don't have to choose a biome and then have all three of my sprouts go there. I can just uh, choose anywhere in the world. So end of round cleanup. Uh, if uh, for some reason uh, you have finished your season, like we've already got five cards next to us, that's how we keep track of whether we can move on to the next season. If you have five cards uh, next to you, the season is over and you're going to do end of season stuff. The first thing you're going to do is to collect light. The position of your sun indicates which plants are going to be collecting light. Each tree that is hit by light is going to give you points. You're going to get one point for your small trees and two points for your big trees. The, here's the catch though all of your plants will cast shadows. So if I have a small plant here and a small plant here, 
I'm going to get one point because this tree is going to cast a shadow onto this tree. So um, this also holds true if you have a line of trees. Even if you don't score points for a tree, the tree is still going to cast a shadow. So if I have a line of trees like this, I'm going to score one point for this tree, nothing for this tree, nothing for this tree because the tree in front of it also casts a shadow, nothing for this tree, and nothing for this tree. Now, if I have another tree back here, I will get a point for this tree because there's a crevice here. Uh, this tree is going to cast its shadow on the crevice, and there's nothing in the crevice to block the light for this tree. So I'm going to get one, two points now. Hopefully, I've got several plants across that can catch the light. Now, my big trees are taller than the uh, small trees, but they cast a shadow that is two spaces long. So if for some reason I had a big tree here, it would indeed cast a shadow over this small tree here. So I would get one, two, three points for the trees in this line. Now this could be fixed if I just added a little bit of space here between these trees. And hey, now I'm collecting one, two, three, four points uh, for the trees in this line. Obviously, I'm going to get points for the ones next to it as well. So. Of course, all is not lost if I do have things in a line like this because the next season things are going to go this way and boom, next season I'm going to get a lot of points. So don't worry too much if uh, your trees cover each other up. So um, there is a handy dandy guide on how to count light points in the rule book and it uh, covers a lot of different situations. If for some reason uh, the light rules confuse you, those examples should clear it right up. Then you're going to check for your biggest forest. Uh, you're going to count each group of trees and bushes that are orthogonally adjacent to one another. So obviously I've got a five point group here. So I'm going to get five points for my largest forest. If uh, two forests are the same size, obviously you're only going to score the points once. Uh, whatever your one largest forest is, is what you're going to score points for. Um, you're going to update your score with a little cylinder and then going to move the sun. You're going to discard all the biome cards. Uh, if you ever run out of biome cards here, you are going to shuffle in all of the cards that have been discarded. Do not take the ones next to a player's that's next to a player's board until the end of a season when they are discarded away. So, um, then change the season, and we're going to continue on from there. Uh, and we'll have four rounds before end of season scoring, and then three rounds, and then two rounds. At the end of the game, when the fourth season ends, the game is over. Uh, you are going to score points for your big trees times the fertility bonus. I'm going to want big trees, as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to want big trees in this winter region, hopefully there is not an arid condition that goes on top of this, because if there is, and this is the most recent uh, snow card to be played, this card is going to be flipped over. That'll be bad news if you have heavily invested in the snow biome. Um, so uh, you're going to update your score with the cylinder. Uh, the highest uh, score is the winner. In the case of a tie, whoever comes first in turn order is going to break ties. Okay. So um, if you're playing with multiple people, I've got first player and uh, I am not one of the winners. It's you and James. Then it's going to be whoever is seated to my left, basically. That is basically all the rules. Still think I have left anything out of that. Don't think so. Uh, there is a single player mode um, that is on the back of the rule book. And uh, although we have not played it yet, it looks pretty interesting where you're trying to get enough points to be a legendary sequoia. Oh, I should mention, they call the tree meeples, they call them treeples. Well, yeah. Because obviously that's what they are. All right. All right. Give me some options. Give you some options. I need to shuffle these up. I should uh, also want to mention 
these uh, bags come in evergreen. Um, I got to say, I'm not a fan of these bags because you can't see what's in them. However, I do understand that uh, uh, I believe that these are uh, this is part of a uh, uh, recycling type of effort, I believe, uh, made with more recyclable plastics. So uh, if that is your thing, then uh, Horrible Guild is doing a great job with that by providing uh, the more opaque bags. I don't get to keep all this there. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Going on. Yeah, no. Guess I should reset this as well. I do get my point though. All right, here we go. Here's our three cards. Wild, a two rock. Oh, and it is the, indeed the snow biome. Now the only way this is going to go up there is if neither of us choose this. Because it's the one that's left over that goes to the fertility zone. Now she chooses the rock. And then she places this onto the wild. Do now, as you can see here, I would have to magically have small plants to make this big plant worth my while. So if I really want first player, I could do that. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the snow, make it worth my while, you do get this back because this has no fertility icon. It's just into the discard pile. Yeah. So now we simultaneously do our actions. I might as well go ahead and grab my point really quickly because that when it, when I can't really do much else with that. Um, but I get any standard action in the snow biome. Clearly the first thing that you have to do, since you can't plant a sprout and grow it, the best move starting out is three sprouts yeah am i right yep for sure for, for sure. sure for sure and you know what i am actually going to go here here and here spreading out a little bit that's what they want you to do that's that's what they now this is also a very valid strategy as well um we'll see we will see i'm trying to stretch out a little bit farther so i can get more things now it's not going to be good going this direction but I'll I'll burn that bridge when we come to it. All right. So flip a doozy. Flipping out three more. It's wheat, wild, and rock. Wow. I think I'll do this I'll one. These turn the same way here. You took wheat. I did. Oh, do I take? The wild that is clearly in front of me. You know what? I am actually going to do it. Placing the rock up here. Rock up top. Ooh. Well, clearly I'm going to take my points because points. Hmm. Two growth or some more sticks. I better get some growth going on here. Now, sprouts don't cast any shadow. So this direction, I still get both points. Wheat, wheat, and not wheat. Not what I want. We got bushes, we got points. We got waves. I mean, I probably shouldn't go for points. No. But I can't see any better thing to do right now than more points. So I'm going to do that. Yes, I'm doing that. How about four points? I could do whatever. Now every time I take it, I get four points. Good. I do get this back. Rubbery. And those are worth... Even more now. Gonna... How about some steaks? What a steak. Mm. Jalapeno on a steak. I get three little, three little sproutlings. Now, this 
is not a connected forest. Keep in mind, this is not a piece of a forest. It is a sprout. So do keep that in mind. How do I want to do this? Do I want to do it diagonally? I mean, I did actually uh, do pretty decently. I'm making it work that way. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, and three. Uh, not what I wanted to see. E -e -e. No, no, no. Not what I wanted. This is not bad. Not great. I don't mind it at all. So that's two sprouts. That is one small tree. And this is points, which I do love. <laughs> you love me bonus points. I know you don't love it. I make you hate me by doing that. I move forward on the steak, which gives me a two sticks. And then I get to do an action anywhere. Probably going to be some growth. That's growth. That's some growth. What's he doing? These two spaces. Do I care a lot about connected forest? Yep. I mean, really, do I? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I do a little bit. Hmm. <clears throat> a little, just a little bit. Maybe. You're already beating me by so much. I don't know. I don't know about that. We're up eight points over. Well, because of this. Yeah. I mean, don't hate the player. Yeah. I hate my own player. <laughs> All right, that's two sticks, and then I'm going to take two growth actions, which is going to be bigger tree. Kilt. And tree. Kilt. And uh, one, two, three. If you like flowers, there's some flowers. That's what you want. This goes yeah, here. That's what I needed. That is what you needed. Wow. Them bushes. Them bushes. Yeah, two of them. Ooh, do I want the lake? Then what? I don't mind the lake. He does mind. Oh, actually, I don't mind the lake. That's not a bad lake. <laughs> I'll take that and I'll lake it. Lake it. <laughs> I'm going to lake it. That gives me one lake. Um, <clears throat> my flower action. I'm just going to put me a couple sticks down. And then time for a lake.
That's large. That's small. No, I don't get points for it now, but maybe someday. All right, that's five. Now we uh, look at light. Two, four, five. Five is all I get. Me too. Largest forest, four is all I get. Nine. Whoa! I just saw it in the level. I need them bushes. What did I say? Yeah. Season two, place this. Rotate this, by the way. Here's my card. Stephanie's. And this is what I get to choose from. I don't need bushes to connect up things. I don't need any more large trees either. How many, you like did bush several times? Three times. At least three times. That's a lot of bush. Yes. That's a that's a bunch of bush. Yep. Ain't giving you more bush. Depends on what you do. I might do something else. There are other things I like. I actually like them all. So. Yeah. Uh huh. It's true. I hate giving you more chance for Bush, though. Give her all the win, Michael. <laughs> no, I don't want to give her a win. <laughs> I want that. I get, I get one small tree with this. I get one large tree with this. On your way to success. I don't like it. Okay. You're going to bush if I let you have it. Can't let you bush anymore. If that's what you're doing. Yep. I get one bush for my troubles. I get cry for days. Really don't need this bush anywhere. One. Yeah, I just don't need the bush. Two. Up the bush here. All right, I guess that was that. Here's your options. Gross. Beautiful. Rivers. Rivers. I love that. Uh, what you want? There's plenty there I want. Really? Mm -hmm. I just don't love it. <laughs> I just don't love it. Yes. Take this. This goes here and... Uh...
Yeah, I guess so. So I can kill this. Or if you just take this and let these be worth a lot. First, four points. Then something up here, which I may just go down here with. Can't do that. I can do it. Can. I shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't is a different thing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Oh, and you took first player. Of course you did. Yes, I did. All right, do something good, I guess. Or not. I'll do something good, that's for sure. This, this, and this. Well, something good's gonna happen up north and to green. That's probably true. Can't say I love it. I hate it. Can't say I love it. All right. So what's good? Gotta put me some sticks. For stick reasons. Sticky. Brown and shaped like a stick. Sticks. Correct. Thanks. <laughs> That's correct. Pop this leg down. Oh, that's a problem. That's cool. Worry about it later. It'll be fine. So two. Oh, no, I still got one card. It'll be fine later. Oh gosh. I retain this. Man. Wait. So no. The swamp. Oh, that was my second lake. Mistakes were made. You're probably going to bush. I actually think this is a winning plan for me anyway I go. Got choice. And I retained first place. You gave me no choice. I oh, know. So rude. I get the small tree action, which is one whopping small tree. Should probably place it where it's not going to get covered up. This is the only place here it would not get covered up. But then I lose the point for uh, 
it being in the biggest forest. So it might as well be up against the rest of it all. And I'm not sure going Swampland is worth it. Yeah, I got problems. So I think what I'm going to do is this goes anywhere in the Anywhere. <laughs> and then just do the growth anywhere instead of swamp. This is a far different game than I played last time. Yeah. Same. Well, mistakes. Could have had an extra point. All right, light it up. I lose by a point. We know why. I know why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's it. Fourteen. I have light. I only have um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for forest. Oh, God, I'm going to get killed. Here she is complaining and... I didn't say complaining. I said if I lose by one point, we know why. Oh, no, you're, you're whining big time. Whoa! No, I'm not. Here we go, round three. We should probably switch everything. Jumpia. Just because I can. I missed something. No, I took points an extra time. I counted my things only at eight. You're way ahead of me on this. Should probably do this. Oh, I wanted that. Oh no. I didn't well, I didn't well. want it to go there. Because you're sitting there with two trees in that area. I'm like, no. Don't like it. What am I doing? Don't know. What? I'm actually going to probably put a bunch of sticks everywhere. It's our sticky situation. Yeah, it is. You're right. All right, here goes. One, two, three here, and one, two, three here. Whoops. Three on this region, three anywhere I want. This goes up. Hey, look, these are actually worth a point now. Yes. Uh, you took this, didn't you? I did. You get a choice of this, this, or this. Mm. No. Yep. Wow. I'll show you how much you want those. I don't. this one neither of these zones do anything for me so 
And I have plenty of sticks. So I think I'm just going to go four points. It's depressing right there. Because that was more or less a blown turn. And then I get and this one anywhere. Which one makes sense? This one makes first again yep for the last action of this round oh my god ah, ah. Eat it long and old <clears throat> I get two small trees. And some other action. I think I will small tree this. I will small tree this. Now I'll do two other groups. Okay, so if I do two, three, and then I get three grades. One. Don't do. You're allowed to do this on the ones you just like the these. You yes, play. you're. So the rule is, um, you cannot do this action to the same thing that you know. If you were going to do two general growths with your normal action in the for in the flower area. You cannot general growth the same plant twice. You can take the plant you did with your normal action and do your power action, your the power of the card. Or if you did the power before the action, you can take the things that you grew with this action and then apply your general action to that same plant. But you can't do your general action to the same plant for both of them. So, all right, that's three, light them up. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boo, 14. Why? Forest, everything is connected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It was not too late to catch up. Nine, six. Last two actions. Mm -hmm. This is the challenge. Mm -hmm. All right. Doing that would be great. So I'm going to just do that. And then two anywhere. Two biggie, biggie ones. Okay. 
I don't think four points will help me as much as taking this. Nothing there, so I think I'm just going to do my generic D action again. I did the generic action as well. Two lakes. Two lakes, baby, now it's, it's two, two lakes. Oh. That's one lake. It was 25 minutes of rules, so we've only been really, like... Sorry for being so low on the rules. Wow. I think that's the best place for that. And then, my D action. It's going to go compact and fall. All right. Last thing right here. Well, I don't care much for... That's not bad. Shrubberies. Shrubberies. This is best for me. I get one big tree and then one wild. This is best for me. Which is not going to do what I wanted it to. Is not these. This. I'm losing points if I do that to myself. But still probably worth it. Get that. This goes here. Get two shrubberies. I think my wild action will be to turn this into a biggie. And turn this into a smallie. All right, light them up. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. Boo, twelve. Twenty-five. And I got fifteen on uh, fifteen on the forest. Not very big at all. Ooh. Wow, you're you have lapped me, I think. Nearly. Wow. All right, I don't think I got enough. Let's see. Um swamp, nothing. Nothing. All right, that's done. This, nothing. Badly. That's done. Nothing. Six times your yellow is 18 for me. 36. 616. 
This six times a bunch for me. Six, seven. Seven times six is 42. Back eight up one. Yeah. Might have done it, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't think so. This four times this is eight. Eight. Not enough because you're already passed. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. And I don't have anything here. Yeah, that's why I did that too. Get six for six times two. Wow. Yeah. So I got killed me. 191. I got 166. Shrubberies, man. I tried the shrubbery strategy. Seemed pretty good. Yeah, it did. So. Um, I don't think there's one path to victory. I don't th I think even though I did not pull off what I was trying to do, I don't think it is a bad strategy. Um, because I saw that winter had already the, the arid card for winter had passed and I'm like, or for snow had passed and I'm like, do it. And I did, I just went hard for that. Um, but I don't think I got enough actions elsewhere. I think taking the points, although it was accidental at first and then. I was on that roll, so I might as well stick four with points, it. Four points, four points, four points. Um, it might not be enough. I don't, I don't think that that's enough. I, I tend to agree. You can't make that a strategy. You I don't, can't I don't think. I, yeah, I think it's just, hey, you can pick these up. It's 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 pity points if you happen to get this card and you do the other thing in the region that hopefully you want. I did get fifteen points out of it though, so right, not but, insignificant. Right, but what you could have maybe got other things. It's hard to tell. Hard to say. Yes, and there's a bunch of uh, Monty Python quotes because I keep saying shrubbery. <laughs> shrubbery. <laughs> Bring me a shrubbery. So but yeah, um, yeah, this was a pleasant surprise. I yeah. really enjoy Evergreen. Yeah, it's really nice. So uh, yeah, it's growing on. And y'all say I'm the one with the dad jokes. No, 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 it's not dad joke. It's so. Be sure to check out Evergreen Evergreen from Horrible Guild. No, I really like it. I yeah. like it, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's a dad joke. No, they understand. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoyed this teaching playthrough, you can find a whole bunch more on YouTube at Board Gamer Steph, or you can join us on twitch.tv slash Board Gamer Steph every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we stream three games or more every single stream. So come join us on Twitch where we play all, all the, the games. games. And for those on Twitch, we'll be right back.